I then came to chapter 1, footnotes 10, footnote 11, footnote 12, footnote 13, footnote 14, footnote 15, footnote 16. All of the quotes are from Joan Peters. They are so from Joan Peters that you have a long quote here from Mark Twain on pages 23 to 24. Mm -hmm. I turn to Joan Peters, page 159 to 60. The identical quote from Twain with, with the ellipses is in the, the, the is ellipses. The Twain quote, is the Twain quote wrong? With the ellipses, is the Twain let me finish, wrong? sir. No, 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 but the, the key with is the ellipses <laughs> in the same places. The identical quote from Twain with the ellipses in the same places. It's been widely then, quoted, as yeah, you know. Really, now, Mr. Mr. Dershowitz, no, no, I then, I, What's your point? Is it, is it a correct quote? quote? Let is, me finish, no, Mr. No, no, Dershowitz. Make, I want to ask we you a question. Have a is it a direct, is it an I'm, accurate okay. quote of Twain? Uh, Did Twain say uh, what Professor I Dershowitz, quote him as the way we, the way we can have, have The way we can have a civilized discussion a here is that mm -hmm. each person will get a chance to make their point and won't be cut off. So You have nearly a full-page quote from one William Young. Mm -hmm. A British Council from May 1839. Is it an accurate on quote? Page eight, I'm going to finish, sir. Mm -hmm. On page 18 of your book, I turn to Joan Peters, page 184. The identical quote with the ellipses. I'm holding it up for the camera. Perhaps they can see. This is the length of the quote. The is it an accurate quote? The ellipses in the identical place. Last point. I'm not going to go through chapter two where there are 29 plagiarisms from Joan Peters. Wait, wait, wait. No, well, let's be very clear. It is not plagiarism yeah. to quote Mark Twain yeah. correctly. Yeah, except, That's not except plagiarism. Except if you cite Mark Twain and not Joan Peters. I'm a professor, sir. I know what plagiarism is. And plagiarism uh, sir, is? Well, let's, uh, hear, the, let's hear your definition listen, of plagiarism. No, we're not going to get involved no, no, we're not in that get, now. So you're using a word I'm and you're not going to tell us what I'm you mean by I'm going to give it. the documentation, and you know what? We'll let everybody else decide for themselves because okay. the documentation. One last example, and I want to make it very clear. In Joan Peters' book from Time Immemorial, she coins a phrase. The phrase is "turn speak," and she no, says, "No, she borrows it from. No, she borrows sir, it from from um, who sir, is it? Sir, oh, I'm sorry. No, she attributes it and borrows sir, it from somebody else. I'm it's sorry. not her own phrase. She coins the phrase. You see, you don't know what you're talking about, mm -hmm. and that's pretty terrible. Phrase. She coined the phrase turn speak, and she says she's using it as a play off of George Orwell, mm -hmm. which, as all listeners know, used the phrase news speak. Right. And she coined her own phrase." turn speak. You go to Mr. Dershowitz's book, he got so confused in his massive borrowings from Joan Peters that on two occasions, I'll cite them for those who have a copy of the book, on page 57 and on page 153, he uses the phrase, quote, George Orwell's turn speak. Mm -hmm. Turn speak is not Orwell, Mr. Dershowitz, you're the Felix Frankfurter Chair at Harvard. Yes. You must know that Orwell would never use such a clunky phrase as turn speak. I like it. I think it's a well, very elegant I, well, phrase. Well, maybe you like yeah, it. And I do. Evidently, Joan Peters liked it. Mm -hmm. But George Orwell never heard of it, to the best of my knowledge. We have to okay. break for station. Just, just one sec. Just one sec. We have to. Would. In the first month of the Intifada, this one, uh, October uh, 2000, in the first month of the Intifada, uh, two, uh, 75 Palestinians, 74 Palestinians were killed, four Israelis were killed, it's all in the occupied territories. Uh, the Israeli army, according to its own records, fired a million bullets in the first day, which disgusted the generals when they learned about it. Uh, Israel, the first few days of the Intifada, was using U.S. helicopters, they don't make them, U.S. helicopters to attack civilian complexes, apartment houses and so on, killing and wounding dozens of people. And the U.S. did respond to that. Clinton responded by sending the biggest shipment of military helicopters in a decade to Israel. Uh, the press responded, too, by not publishing it. I should add, refusing to publish it because it was repeatedly brought to their attention. Well, while the ratio was 20 to 1, which is pretty much what it's been for a long time, there was no concern here. 
Then over the next two, three years, the ratio reduced to closer to three to one. And then came enormous concern about the one, not the three. And this goes back for a long time. What I quoted from Mars is accurate. Well, brief, you know, uh, no, no follow-up. A very brief response. The idea that there is this vast conspiracy, American media, and both Democrats like Clinton and Republicans like Bush, to hide the truth from the American public, just does not bear reality. Israel is an open society. Any newspaper can come and cover it. Why would not the newspapers? cover these stories well, for one reason. They are figments of Chomsky's imagination. Well, then if and they just never happen. <laughs> now, I want to talk about another figment of his imagination. For Chomsky those who constantly want to verify quotes, them, constantly you, quotes, constantly quotes right. Benny Morris, as if Benny Morris supports his position. What happened is, Benny Morris was asked whether or not I accurately quote him in my book, The Case for Peace. And Benny Morris responded as follows. Um, he still holds the views that I attributed uh, to him, that I am right about his views, and that someone could read Morris's books, this is a quote from Morris, and arrive at exactly the same conclusions. And yet, Professor Chomsky, by selectively quoting and by picking tidbits out of context, knowing that you're not going to check up on him, tells you essentially that what you believe in the American media, whether it be the Washington Post, the Boston Globe, or the New York Times, is not true. In order to get the true meaning of the world, you have to move to planet Chomsky, where the news reflects his perspective on reality. Well, I urge you to move to the real world. Read the real news. Don't read the selective Israeli journalist that he talks about. Listen to Dennis Ross. Dennis Ross okay. actually helped to draw the maps. Professor he Dershowitz. was there. When okay. I, I have to finish. I haven't done my two minutes. When he said, okay. when I asked Dennis Ross at lunch today, about these maps and what, what apparently Chomsky would say in response, Ross said, ask Professor Chomsky one thing. Were you there? Dennis okay. Ross was there. He knows what maps were presented to the Palestinians yeah. and what they rejected. Thank you. The That's, head of the Shimon Paris, the head of the Shimon Paris Peace Center, Ron Pundak, who's the leading scholar on this and doesn't cut Whatever it off you quote right, the before he's, right, we before, know okay. right before he's refuted the way Dennis Ross did, presents, he was involved in negotiations since before Oslo, right through Camp David up to the present, got a long historical account of it. You can read it if you can read Hebrew, some of it's in English. Uh, the one, all this smoke that was blown had to do with one fact that I mentioned, one. And you can check it and please do. In the, er, f in the first month of the Intifada, uh, I'm now using Israeli sources, 74 Palestinians were killed, four Jews in the occupied territories. The first few days, uh, this is reported in the press here, Boston Globe, Israel was using US helicopters to attack apartment complexes. Clinton reacted with the biggest deal in a decade. Check it out, it's in the public record, not, it, not questioned by anyone, to send uh, military helicopters to Israel. The, there has been a database search of the U.S. It was reported in Europe. It was reported by Amnesty International. It's reported in Jane's Defense Weekly, the main military magazine in the world. Uh, there was a database search of the U.S. press, and they found nothing. Uh, I know of explicit cases, and I'll be glad to tell them to you, where the press was approached and asked just to report the facts. Why Jay didn't they? Okay. Chomsky, why didn't they report it? Are they bad reporters? Because What's no. their motive? Explain have, why because, the Times or the Post okay. wouldn't report this great story from Planet Chomsky. Gentlemen, if it's, I could... Uh, from uh, James as Defense as, uh, Weekly, uh, from uh, the international press and so on, yeah. Uh, they wouldn't, you have to ask them why they didn't report it. I'll give okay. you my opinion. Yeah. In fact, what I'm going to do for the interest of time and trying to be respectful of uh, mm -hmm. Professor Dershowitz is I'll simply quote your uh, statements in the book one after another slowly and you can simply stop me and say I can prove that or I have the evidence. Sure. Okay? Great. Simple. Page 206 you write Israel is the only country in the Middle East to have abolished any kind of torture in fact as well as in law. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Let's that. start with that right. one. Yeah. The Israeli Center for Human Rights in the Occupied Territories has a website, mm -hmm. and I follow it quite closely. So do I. 
I went to the website and I checked under the heading for torture. I'll ask again Amy Goodman rather than myself to simply read the first sentence for the latest issue of Beth Selim and if she wants to continue down. Um, it's called Beth Selim, the Israeli Information Center right. for Human Rights in the Occupied Territories. Mm -hmm. um, Please it, keep in mind, he said, Mr. Dershowitz said, in fact as well as in law. Please. The first uh, uh, headline it says torture. Interrogation by torture and absolutely prohibited by Israeli and international law. Right. Despite this, Israeli security forces breach the prohibition and torture Palestinians during well, interrogation. I don't agree with that. I mean, we have a reasonable dispute about that. What Israel does and what Israel did until 1999 was what the United States is now doing in Guantanamo. That is, they uh, put people in uncomfortable Shabak positions. They put hoods over their head, often foul-smelling hoods. They play loud music. Uh, there's a cover story in the Atlantic uh, Monthly this month which talks about rough interrogation techniques and it describes what the United States is doing and it says that Israel used to do that, some possibility it continues to do it. That's simply not the kind of torture that international law prohibits and in fact my point is in Jordan torture is routine. In Egypt, it's routine. Definitely. The Israeli Supreme Definitely. Court took an extraordinarily courageous decision in 1999. I commend everybody mm -hmm. to read it. It's online, in which Justice Aaron Barak said that as a democracy, we must fight terrorism with one hand tied behind our back, but in the end, we have the upper hand because we comply with the rule of law. Israel is to be commended for its attempt to regulate and control the torture of ticking bomb terrorists. Uh, mm. I, I am so very you stand by your okay. statement that they do not torture okay. without okay. any Let, question okay. and, Let, and that Let, the Supreme Court has abolished mm -hmm. it and if anybody mm -hmm. were to engage mm -hmm. in an act of that constituted torture, that. they would be in contempt Mr. of court. Dershowitz. Yes. And, and I am right does, and you're you, wrong on this six one. Minutes. No, I am no, simply no, right no, and less you're than wrong six about minutes this. to go. Mr. Dershowitz, Amnesty International, who I know you think is an untrustworthy source, Human Rights Watch, Beth Selim, they all reach the same conclusion. And they're wrong. Israel still continues to practice torture. Well, you can say they're wrong, but let's be clear. Describe what or, Israel does. Sir, what, what, what I'm not going to debate what torture. What do you define as I'm torture? Not, I'm not an expert in the topic. I uh, you certainly are I not, know, but yet you're I making an accusation. I, I don't make the accusation, Mr. Dershowitz. You're confusing things. I go to the mainstream, respected, human rights organizations and I look at what they say. Let me talk and about they Amnesty. they apply the international let, let me, standards. Let me talk I want about to, Amnesty. You have a number second. of points here. Okay, we have but five I, minutes to I go. I need to respond let's to this. You, you did two. respond. No, I didn't respond to this. Let's one. Yeah, go to no, 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 no. I, I need to respond to mm -hmm. Amnesty. You have 30 I seconds to respond. I was, respond. Okay. I was quoting Amnesty Beth International. I was quoting Beth Selim. Amnesty International recently said that Aharon Barak should not receive an international prize because he doesn't believe in, in, in human rights. He is one of the greatest advocates of human rights. They also, Amnesty also on Alan its Dershowitz, website let me ask you a question. I'm going to interrupt for a second because you're on right, another point. Right. Betselem, you just think Betselem is wrong. Uh, no, Betselem is wrong. Okay, because, Norman Finkelstein, next because point. Because they define torture in okay. a way no, next that would point. include what the United right. States is doing. We have four minutes to go. Debate. Four minutes to the end of the Number program. Number two, mm -hmm. you write on page 126. Mm -hmm. There is no evidence that Israeli soldiers deliberately Absolutely. killed even a single Absolutely. civilian in Jenin. Absolutely. Now, Mr. Dershowitz, I looked carefully at your book. Mm -hmm. You don't like Amnesty International. I'm, I'm a member you of it. You don't like... I'm a member I know, of Amnesty International. I know, but on the question of Israel. I'm a contributor to Amnesty of Israel. International. I'm I like Amnesty okay, on on Israel in a great many instances, but I and, disagree with and some you don't, of its conclusions. And you don't particularly like Betzalem. I do like Betzalem. Okay. If I were an Israeli, I'd belong Mr. to Betzalem. So, so don't but, characterize okay, my views. Mr. You don't Dershowitz, know my views. I read your book, right. or the book you purport well, to have written. Now you're claiming somebody else wrote it. I hope so. For your sake, I truly hope you did not write that book. Proudly wrote. I think the honorable and thing for you to do would to be do to say, I didn't write the book. I had no time to read it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wrote every word. That of would it. be the honorable and thing. I urge. I have okay, you've made the point about Janine and whether okay, an Israeli go, soldier. No, I, I want to quote. Let's deliberately quote, like, shot okay, a civilian. Let's Two quote minutes. Human Rights Watch. Yes. They put out an extensive report on Janine. Now, Human Rights Watch, you nowhere in your book mention. Nowhere. Let's see what Human Rights Watch concluded on Janine. Quote, 
There's prima facie evidence that Israel committed, quote, war crimes in Jenin. Further, quote, and I want everyone to listen carefully, many of the civilian killings documented by Human Rights Watch amounted to unlawful or willful killings by the IDF. Please listen to the words. I, I'm defense. listening Willful to the words, killings. and I deal and then, with this and then, very directly and in my then, book. And then Human Rights Watch copiously documents multiple cases of willful killings by Israel. Okay. What did Mr. Dershowitz write? I'm st what did I'm Mr. Dershowitz absolutely write? There is right. not, a, not single a single case of a, yeah. You want not know, only not Mr. a single Dershowitz. case in Janine, but mm -hmm. let me tell you Janine. why I make my point. I make my point because mm -hmm. there is absolutely no incentive for the United States or for mm -hmm. Israel or for any other democracy ever willfully to kill an innocent civilian.